Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. Tonight, I will be talking about transitioning. Um, I will be actually sharing my testimony with you guys. So um, I just want to sh- uh, share with you what the Holy Spirit did to me today. He totally wrecked me today. I cried. I bawled my eyes out and I just sat down and just thought about so much stuff that he has done with my life within a year. But the journey didn't begin until 2016. That's when I begun my journey. Amen. In the year 2016, April 2016. So I will be sharing with you a quick testimony. And I'm trusting and believing God, the Father, the Son the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that this testimony will help someone out there. Or, I don't know, whatever God wants to do with this message, I just hope it could could help someone or help a group of people that may be transitioning in their lives or making a decision to transition and you're not sure what to do or how to do it. So we're just going to believe God tonight for this testimony. We're just going to trust God for his grace. We thank God for the empowerment and illuminated word that he has given us through his son, Jesus Christ. We thank God for his grace and his mercy is continually flowing in our lives. And we just bless his name because our father, he is worthy to be blessed. So we just bless him and we exalt him as we enter into this teaching and just give him the highest praise and just thank him. Amen. For the new transitions that's about to happen in your life. Hi, welcome back. Praise God. We thank God for this message. Uh, I felt like I needed to share it with my YouTube listeners and my other podcast listeners around the world. What God has been doing in my life because he has done so much in my life. And today the Holy Spirit reminded me where I was a year ago and this what this what has has led me to where I am right now sharing this testimony with you. And so August the 26th of this year, I had wrote um, a, a, a little bit of my testimony on my social media page, which is Facebook. And the title of this testimony is called, I gave up everything to be here. I see you transitioning. Are you ready? And that's the question I was asking everyone, whoever today or whenever they read this. The question is, are you ready to transition? And in 2016, I had made a massive decision in my life. I chose to move out of state to Rochester, New York. I had made this decision for multiple, multiple reasons. And the state that I left is Florida. And the state, of course, is Rochester, New York, the coldest state, I believe, in in the world. <laughs> because this place gets real cold in the winter in the winter time. But nevertheless, I made my journey. And in April 2016, I had hit a big hump in my journey and It was really a struggle. I wasn't here but two weeks, but I was seriously under a lot of emotional attack and spiritual attack. I can't even explain to you what type of attacks I was under, but I knew I needed assistance and I knew I needed people to pray for me. So I reached out to another prophetic friend that I have and I told her what what I was going through. And she basically told me to read the book of Psalms. 139 and she told me that it would take two years 
for me to get out of this hump that I was going through in this transition. Now I'm calling it a hump because it felt like I was going through roller coasters. And when I got on top of that roller coaster, that's how I saw myself just sitting on top of this hump. And I was waiting for myself to come down to get off that, 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 that area of my life, that struggle that I was experiencing. And one thing that I can tell you that this transition exposed a lot of my defects in character. Uh, things that I thought was right with me was not right. And because of the struggles that I experienced coming into a new city, a new state, I felt like a foreigner for the first time in a long time in the United States of America. Now, may, many of you may not know, but I'm originally born and raised in London, England. And I transitioned from London to uh, to Europe. We lived in Germany as kids. We was raised in Germany. Then from Germany, we came to Florida. And so there was a lot of transition in my life for a very long time. When I sit down, I think about the transitions I have had Transition has always been a part of my life, a part of what God has basically took me through. But majority of the transitions I experienced wasn't always God. It was bad decisions on my part. So anyhow, just coming to Rochester, New York with no family, with no friends, and I was beginning to lose my faith and just begin to doubt God with what he was doing in my life and the two years of being in Rochester was serious hardship and when I say serious hardship I mean it was emotional emotional breakdown a mental health breakdown uh, and a financial (laughs) loss of finances really I didn't have a job in Rochester, New York for two years. I actually worked as um, a temp. So whenever jobs was available, I would work. But there was sometimes I wouldn't work for two to three weeks, if not a month. So that really hurt me financially. But God gave me favor in that area. And I, I'm telling you, you don't know God until you learn how to depend solely on God and no one else and there was times where I had to reach out to people and ask them to help me financially and the hardest part was asking so that's where I realized in my own personal life I had a lot of pride and so God had to deal with my pride and one of the things that I struggled with was seeing things Uh, that I had not seen before in my life that caused a lot of uh, mental hardship, emotional struggles for me. But in the process of this journey, this journey is so long. But when I got to the year 2018, I, I saw my breakthrough. I basically saw my breakthrough, but it was getting harder and harder and harder. And... I just wanted to go back home, back to my children, my sons, and just be with my kids. And I was telling God, I, I, I don't want to be here in Rochester, New York. I'm ready to give up on Rochester, New York. I, I don't have no one here. You know, I started laying out every complaint you could think of to God and just letting him know where I was, you know, in my life. And he knew where I was, but I had to tell him anyhow, because that's the way I am. You know, when I get frustrated, when I get fed up, I just say, God, this is this, this is that, blah, blah, blah. But (laughs) he just continued to allow me to make my complaints because he knew the journey wasn't going to end and the journey has not ended. So, um. Doors began to open. And if you go back to do some of my messages, I do have messages where I talked about um, the deliverance that I had experienced last year and how that deliverance really jump started some things in my life that needed to be jump started. But the hardship that came with it. I don't know if that was necessary. I, I really don't know. I'm, I don't question God. 
on a lot of stuff, but I do ask God to show me me in the midst of my um in, in the midst of my growth, you know, my spiritual growth, the error of my ways, the error of my thinking. But I did learn a lot about deliverance. I did learn a lot about when deliverance is being done wrong, how it can really cause a lot of trauma in the person's life and cause that person to be fragmented, you know, broken into pieces and how they have to gather themselves back together again through prayer, fasting and worshiping and most of all, having faith in God. And that's where I was in 2018. And I found myself you know, in that hard place, but God will not let his hand off me. Even when I say, God, I'm done. Father, I'm done. Abba, I'm done. He still continued to pursue me with his love. And I thank God for that. Amen. So I finally found a church uh, that I'm at right now, which is called Bethel, Bethel Christian Fellowship here in Rochester, New York. And I started dating the church. I didn't join the church. I started dating the church because I was I was so tired of membership, church membership. I was so tired of joining churches. I was at that point. I don't want to be a member of nothing. I was so fed up of churches asking for membership and subscribe to this, subscribe to that. I was just done. So I said, I'm going to date the church. Instead of just becoming a member of the church. I want to see what what's going on in this church. And what does this church have to offer. Not just for me. But other people in the church. So a year ago today. The Holy Spirit reminded me. I was in a meeting today. And the Holy Spirit reminded me. Of where I was a year ago today. And in this meeting. We are all praying about. Um. Things that's getting ready to happen in the church starting in this month. And um, prior to this meeting last month, the Holy Spirit had spoke to me and gave me a, pro- a prophetic word. He said that things are going to happen. Great things, great manifestations, you know, things, good things was getting ready to happen. And there was going to be bad things happening, but he wanted me to focus on what he was getting ready to do in the months of Burr. And I'm like, the months of Burr, what is Burr? And Burr is B-E-R. So father was basically saying September, October, November, and December, he's going to do some great things in these months. Amen. And I was like rejoicing. Yay, God, praise God. And, you know, in the month of September, you know, great things are going to happen. But also September is my birth month. And the, the most interesting part of my birthday is that I was born on the Hebrew holiday, Roshana. And um, I hope I said that right. <laughs> but I was born in the Hebrew month, a holiday month. I mean, where there was a, there's a lot of celebrations that takes place within this month and I just thank God for it and um (laughs) oh my gosh Uh, this is a testimony guys this is not rehearsed so just go with the flow with this teaching okay um God is just so awesome he revealed to me where I was a year ago it's amazing how we forget the great things that God starts in our lives We go through so much. We go through traumas, you know. We go through trauma and drama. It's just like a woman when she has her labor pains. She forgets about the pain because now she has the baby in her arms. And she's just loving on her newborn baby. And she forgot all about the labor and the suffering that she went through to get to that place to hold her child. And that's how I feel right now, you know. I'm celebrating my life in such a phenomenal way. And today, like I said, the Holy Spirit reminded me where I was a year ago. And a year ago, I um, went to uh, a worship that we had at our church. It was the first Sunday in September 2018. And I recall I was upstairs and I was just worshiping God, just crying out to God because I was really broken. And I just wanted to come home. I wanted to be home. You know, family is so important. 
And family is important to me because I know what it's like to be without a family or families, period. And um, I remember I was upstairs and I was just crying to God. And I recall the young man saying, you know, ask God, you know, what to do. You know, ask God to you want to hear him. Tell him what your problem is. You know, let him know. And God would tell you, you know, he said it in that order to me I, I'm trying to remember but I just basically asked God I said father uh you know am I supposed to be here I want to go home I want to go back home to Florida I want to be with my children and I just cried and he said no He said, you can't go back because I'm not finished with you here in Rochester, New York. But I have to tell you guys, I felt the weight that was I had been carrying for two years in my life just disappear. Because for the first time, I fell right in his arms. I fell right down. I fell in alignment with his will for my life. I just said, okay, okay, okay. He said, it's not time. He said, I'm not done with you in Rochester, New York. And a year later today, in that same building, that same church, God has me teaching classes at that church, Bethel. Christian Fellowship, Pastor David Domina, Apostle Ron, and many leaders. He has me in the ministry leadership team. He has me on a prophetic team. He has me growing in ministry and working with other people in ministry. A year later, this is what our Father has done with my life. And when I agreed with Abba Father that I would stay, within that week, that same week, I received a phone call from my third son. And he said, Mama, I'm coming to see you because it doesn't look like you're coming back to Florida. And this kid didn't even know what God had already released to me. And I hadn't seen my son for two years. And my son came and visited me in a year ago and spent time with me. I'm telling you right now, our father is a promise keeper. You can't go wrong when you serve a promise keeping God. He's a God of salvation. Yay. He's a God of sovereignty. Yay, God. He's a God of power. He's a God that can heal you when you're broken if you just trust in him. A year later, I'm sitting in a meeting today and the Holy Spirit reminds me of where I was and where I am today. That if that's not God, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what to tell you from here and out. I'm not here to convince you. But I am here to say this to you. Trust the process. (laughs) Trust the process. If you are in the beginning of the transition, trust God in the process. Oh, I got so much testimony, so much to be said. But I really want to minister to you. You. You know, I, I, I'm sharing this testimony for you. You that's sitting there, that's listening. Trust God. He will not lead you, mislead you, misguide you. He will bring you through. He did it for me and he will do it for you. He has no respect of persons. But because I submitted, God is using me greatly. Not even just in my church, but even with my radio broadcast, I am now 
on iHeartRadio. I'm on Spotify. I'm on um, Google Podcasts. I, I, I am on Apple Podcasts. God is just stretching me beyond my expectations. Above my expectations. Uh, he's just stretching me. I just want to encourage you. Like I said, it's not about me. It's about you. It's testimony I pray will help you. And I have had the opportunity now to see my boys three times this year. The first two years, I didn't get to see my boys like that. You know, two years separate from my children. Talk about separation anxiety. I definitely had that going on. The enemy really attacked my emotions and my thoughts and so much got broken in me. I learned to release people, let them go. I learned to continue to break the soul ties and just keep walking and keep walking into God's grace. So I pray that God will enlighten you this evening I pray that you will not just lean to God but push into God fall into his arms fall into his loving arms because he he's going to do some phenomenal stuff for you trust the process be encouraged and I hope this message will help you I probably was all over the place I don't know but I'm totally wrecked I've been crying all this afternoon. I said, I got to share this testimony. I just got to share. And I hope it helps you. Because God is too much. He is too much. (laughs) Just like my Nigerian friends would say, God is too much. He is too much. So pray to God. Ask him like I did. Can I go home? And if he say yes, go. But if he says no, trust the process. Because he's going to open doors for you that you have never seen in your life. Amen? Amen. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance. God be with you.